Good morning, uh, Robert Lopez operations for Great Basin Team 2. Uh, we're up here on the Lookout Bedrock fires with Horse Creek and also a pothole. Uh, we'll start down here in the south on the uh, Bedrock fire. Uh, just to give you a little bit more information, we did reorganize some names and some divisions and, and branches. So we'll, I'll cover that as I go through the around the horn stuff today. Uh, we'll start down here in the south west on bedrock again as you can see it's just going to be known as the bedrock fire now and uh, we've got a north repair group and a south repair group because we're starting to that repair stage of that fire on the national forest system lands uh also we do have a suppression group out there that is still working on the containment to finalize the areas that are still red on the map that are uncontained so we're still working on that containment in those areas and those areas are located here where we're working on to get those secured and make sure they're not going to move anywhere on the south side and then also on the north piece this piece of red that's still up there that's open line and still has heat in it i was out there yesterday and there is still heat uh back in these islands here i was looking into these yesterday and there still is some heat some interior stuff going on did receive a little bit of rain out there yesterday so mother nature is helping us out pretty good out in that country but that's what's going on with bedrock continue to monitor this and just continue to beat these edges out each day so that kind of covers the bedrock fire uh jumping up into horse creek pothole and lookout uh i don't see pothole on our map but potholes located right down here down off the horse creek road that fire is uh, coming right along we're continuing to work that with hose lays water pumps uh and taking care of that uh that's a few more days out we just to get that thing secured up a lot of good work going on that down there with the crews jumping up here in the horse creek uh things are looking really well there all along the horse creek road that's a really tough piece of country uh same results yesterday uh just keeping an eye on this uh making sure that uh that thing the rollout and all that coming off the steep ridges doesn't blow across and get on the other side of the the road there I'll also continue to work the the north piece of that and each ends the west and and uh, east sides of those uh continuing to uh seek and destroy hot spots that are threatening threatening the line and so that's kind of what's going on in the horse creek also that's going to continue to be worked on uh jumping up into the lookout fire as you can see we did switch up some divisions and branches so we'll start on the the west side in branch one uh, that's kind of out here and in branch one we'll jump into alpha we're continuing to work the far south edge of the lookout fire that is coming along really well uh, looking at some evacuation status and that that's going in there going to reevaluate that each day uh, meeting with the the county sheriffs and that up in that area uh, to see where we're going with those e those evacuations uh, orders and all that stuff so there could be a change coming on that pretty soon just because of the good work the fire people have been doing out here securing this up anchoring into the river corridor but that is coming along really really well in alpha which used to be the old victor tango zulu but now we're going with division alpha there uh jumping up in the division charlie hotel and lima uh we're continuing to work this edge here the far West edge, continue to secure that up in case we do get an east wind coming out of there, just trying to build depth in that and make sure it's secure in Charlie. Up in the hotel and Lima, uh, we're continuing to work on the indirect lines because of the, the conditions of the area. Uh, steep and deep up in there, not really good place to put lines. We've chose the best areas up there uh, to put those lines in. And we're continuing to work on those. Those are probably seven to 10 days out of still work up in there uh, to get those indirect lines put in and to continuing to monitor what the fire behavior is from the IR that was flown last night. There's still quite a bit of heat along this area. Uh, so that is still a threat to us. And we're just trying to get those uh, indirect lines in through those two divisions. Jumping over into the new division up there, Papa, uh, the Papa lines all the way down to the branch. Uh, so this is branch three, down to the branch three and five break. This piece is looking really good. It's had three three to four days to clean itself up. Uh, and we're just securing that, making sure 
that it's not moving outside. No new spot fires out in there. Uh, and it's just, it's burning itself down and, and holding it in place. So we have all this completed up in here. Uh, just continuing to, to touch it up and make it just a little bit stronger than that. But that's looking good up in Papa. Jumping down on the Branch 5 and Papa rolling into Division Tango now. Uh, the spot fire across the 126 is uh, got hose all the way around it. Uh, been lined and it's being worked uh, accessible. There is some there's some snags up in there on that side of the in the spot fire that we're looking to maybe take down on Tuesday. So we may have some flaggers and stuff like that on the road stopping traffic on Tuesday. That's still in the works. Trying to work with ODOT on that. So if you are traveling the corridor, please slow down for our fire resources up in that area because we have a heavy presence still along Papa and uh, Tango and also along all of uh, the bottom here of Alpha. Uh, Tango's looking really good in this area. Spent a lot of time and effort in there, knocking it out. Continue, we're gonna see some more uh, black line showing up here. In the, so black line is containment line uh, that we feel really comfortable about what's going on out in there. That should be showing up in the, the next couple days on the map as we get a little bit better grasp and continue to work in that area. And that's kind of the overall operational plan for today on the lookout, the bedrock, pothole, and horse creek fires.